All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back, welcome back. May the Most High bless you. Welcome back to another Real Talk. My title says, The Earthquakes in Dallas. Um, a lot of y'all been emailing me because you've been looking at the news and seeing it on the internet how over here in Irving, uh, we getting hit with so many earthquakes and we all okay, everybody's fine. Um, thank the most high, there have been no deaths yet and it looked like it's getting, it's gonna hit harder and harder, uh, these earthquakes, um, cause we've never experienced earthquakes at all over here. And um, like I say, brothers and sisters, we all right. Um, I'm on guard, I'm looking, I'm watching, but uh, Brother Mac, you had a good question. You say, do I believe that the Most High is causing these earthquakes in Dallas? No. And if anybody that look at me know when I talk about can Satan mess with the weather? Oh, you know what I'm talking about in a video like this then because I get so tired of people blaming the Most High for everything and without studying the Bible, they don't have a clue on who's doing what because every time it's a natural disaster or a hit of summer earthquake or a tornado over here, a lot of people automatically blame that on God, my brother. Well, I'm now see your question, and uh, I'm gonna say it off top, do I believe that's the most high? No. You know, because I understand from studying what, how powerful the devil really is, how powerful the Antichrist really is, man, and when you start looking at what the Bible says versus what people and their opinions are, then you will have a different outlook on this. I did a video talking about harp. And if you go back and watch that video I did about harp, a lot of this video right here will make sense to you because a lot of people don't study. And this secret stuff that they're doing with these secret weapons that they hide and that they don't show you, best believe that it's powerful. And when they shoot this stuff up in the air, anything can happen. But we all okay, brother. I, I really felt that earthquake at one o'clock this morning because it shook this house so hard. I actually went open the door because I thought an airplane had crashed outside in the front yard. That's how loud that sound it sounded at one o'clock this morning. I felt the I felt the windows and the ground just seemed like it moved out the way. It was a, it was real loud, you know. So I thought about something, you know, when I when I look at stuff like this. And then you think about all the drilling that they doing, you know, um, with all the technology that's out, the, the, the machines that mankind have now, oh yeah, they can cause some serious stuff. And the reason why I'm looking at this so hard in Irving because there never has been a tornado, not a tornado, an earthquake in, in Irving. And see, I don't know if you're familiar with Dallas, my brother um, and sisters. To those that's familiar with Dallas, then you know where we used to have the Texas Stadium at. And it seemed like since the Texas Stadium have been removed, they, they you know, knocked it down, we've been having all these earthquakes. And the earthquakes are only hidden in Irving. See, it's something, it's something real funny about that. But I also know what runs and flows through Irving when you start talking about you know, the land and dump grounds and all kind of stuff like that. So I, I'm looking at Irving and I'm looking at the same, at the same time, what mankind can really do, you know? I, so when you ask me about the weather and these earthquakes, do I think it's the most high? No. And a lot of people think I'm crazy for saying that. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because looking at Irving uh, from studying, Irving have seen more than we could say more than two dozen earthquakes now. That's something else. When they've never had one before. But, I said that to say this, when you pick up your Bible and go to Matthew 24, one of my favorite chapters, Mark 13 testifies to it, Luke 21, they all say the same thing pretty much. When it started talking about the beginning of sorrows, our Savior made a statement in, in Matthew 24 and seven. In verse seven, he says, for these nations are gonna rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. He said it was gonna be famine and pestilence, but at the but what he said last was that it was gonna be earthquakes in diverse places. In other words, he said it's gonna be earthquakes in different places. So a place that ain't never seen an earthquake like us, we seeing them now. But our Savior never did say he was gonna be the one that was causing all of that. 
See, one thing about the Most High, He sent a warning before He do something. He let you know what's going to happen. He always sent a warning through the prophets in the Old Testament that was always warning before destruction. So that shows me that the devil has a lot to do with what you see going on with all these tornadoes. Even Revelation teaches you signs and wonders will be coming from heaven, but it's not our Savior. So the power with that, the devil really have, oh, he got a lot of power, but he only have enough power that the Most High allow him to have, and these things must happen. If you don't think Satan got, got power to mess with the weather, go back and read Job again and look at what happened with Job. And look at what the Most High allowed Satan to do to Job, except harm his soul. Couldn't touch his soul. But you start looking at what happened, okay? You see my point? So it shows us in the Old Testament and throughout the New Testament, who is the prince of the power of the earth, the prince of the power of darkness? Satan. He has access to do these things. Now you got a great debate about fracking because a lot of people think it, hey, maybe it's coming from fracking, you know, or we don't know if it's fracking or what it could be. And if you don't know what fracking is, it's just break it down in a simple term. Fracking is that, 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 that drilling that you see. Or some might call it hydraulic drilling. Hydraulic fracking, whatever you want to call it, is when they, when they is digging deep, you know, thousands and thousands feet deep. You, you, you hear about this stuff. That's the process of extracting the, um, the natural gas from the shell rocks. And it's layers deep within the earth. So that's some deep digging, some deep drilling that you hear a lot of people talking about. You say, is it real? Yes, it's real. It's real, real. It's real, real, I like to say, to be contrary. It's real, real. And sometimes they do that hydraulic fracking for a whole month. So with all that cracking down in the earth, what do you think? Now that's a debate that a lot of people got going on, you know. So it, let, let me ask you this. As I wrap this video out, up, I mean, is there a such thing as man-made earthquakes? I'm gonna close out with this. Let me ask you this. Can all the oil and gas disposal wells cause an earthquake? Because that junk got to go somewhere. Where do you pull it out? Where do you dip it out at? All this wastewater, where do it go? All the liquids. This stuff is deep, y'all. Waste wells are located thousands and thousands of feet underground. They encased in layers of concrete. And you, when you look at an earthquake, what really happens? The ground split. And you look at, at, at these, these wells and, and this waste that I'm talking about, they usually store the waste from so many different wells. And from studying, it's about, probably about 50,000 or more disposed wells in Texas, servicing more than 216,000 active drilling wells, according to the Railroad Commission. I remember that. And each well pretty much used what they say, that each well used about 4.5 million gallons of chemical laced water. So what do you think? Let me ask you this, do, do you think that the snow that you see all the time is real? Do you think the rain is real? Have you ever studied on harp? So that's my time. May the Most High bless you and keep you. What do you think? The earthquakes in Dallas, are they coming from the Most High or are they coming from man or should we say the devil? Y'all take care and have a wonderful blessed day. Peace.